Let's go to extraordinary foo organs. Talk about the gallbladder. The extraordinary foo organs uh, include the brain, the marrow, the bones, the vessels, the gallbladder, and the uterus. The extraordinary foo, foo organs are similar to the foo organs in morphology and similar to the zang organs in function. They have no exterior inferior relationships except the gallbladder. The extraordinary foo organ includes the brain, the marrow, the bones, the vessels, the gallbladder, and the uterus. The gallbladder excrete promotes digestion and is similar to the functions of the foo organ. And it also stores bile and is similar to the functions of zang organ. Therefore, the gallbladder not only belongs to the six foo viscera, but also to the extraordinary foo viscera. Extraordinary foo organs have no exterior interior relationships and the five elements attribution except the gallbladder. The brain is located in the skull and is composed of marrow, and it has three physiological functions. One is it dominates life activities. The brain is a vital center which dominates important life activities, such as respiration and heartbeat. It also dominates mental activities. The function is of, of the brain attribute to the heart and belong to the five Zang organs. When the brain is normal in function, the person will have good energy and will be in full vigor with clear mind, quick thinking, good memory, fluent speech, and normal emotion. On the contrary, abnormal function of brain will lead to SAG, retard thinking, amnesia, and even mental disorders. It also dominates sensation and movement. The eyes, ears, mouth, nose, and tongue are the external or orifices of the five organs. They are located in the head and face and are connected with the brain. Therefore, the brain controls the five sensory functions as well as the movement. When the brain is, is in normal function, it provides good vision and audition, normal olfactory sense and speech, as well as powerful limbs. On the contrary, it will cause dim vision, deafness, anosmia, slow motion, dyskinesia, and speech problems. The function of the brain attributes to the five zank organs and is closely associated with the 12 meridians as well as the eight extraordinary meridians. For example, the heart houses the mind, the lung houses the corporeal soul, and the liver houses ethereal soul, the spleen houses thought, and the kidney houses the essence. Clinically, mental activities are mostly related to the heart, the liver, and the kidney. The heart governs the mind and all mental activities. The liver governs dredging and dispersing functions, as well as regulates mental activities. And the kidney stores essence in order to produce marrow to nourish the brain. That is why mental diseases are usually treated by regulating the heart, the liver, and the kidney. The uterus. Its physiological function is it governs menses and pregnancy. The uterus governs menses and the production of menstruation is a reflection of the viscera, chi, blood, fluid, and meridians acting on the uterus. Therefore, the developmental condition of the uterus influences the production of menstruation. For pregnancy, normal menstruation results in the normal fertile ability in women. The physiological functions of the uterus are related to the kidney, heart, liver, spleen, chi, blood, blood, body fluids, and the chong and ren meridians. The level of essence storing in the kidney and the regulation of the chong and ren meridians is especially important. The essence stored in the kidney can promote genital growth. Tiangui produced by kidney, the essence is considered as the basic conditions of maintaining normal menstruation and conceiving fetus. The main component of the menses is blood. The heart governs blood, and the liver stores blood and promotes circulation of blood. The spleen serves as a source of chi and blood and controls blood circulation inside the vessels. Therefore, the function of uterus is closely related to the heart, the liver, and the spleen. The Chong and Ren meridians originate from the uterus. They propel chi and blood to nourish the uterus and conceive fetus. If the function of Chong and Ren meridians are abnormal, it will result in irregular menstruation and will result in metrorrhagia, amenorrhea, and infertility. Thank you so much for your attention.